Thank you for joining us today. This video will accomplish three tasks. It will help you archive your email from the past email system. It will also help you export your contacts, calendar, task, items, and any items marked for follow-up. And it will help you import these items into the CS email profile. The CS email profile is the profile that we're using starting December 5th and on into the future. The email profile that we are exporting from is whatever you were using before that. This video assumes that you have already accomplished the password enrollment phase and that you've also already set up a new profile uh, on the CS email domain. Let's take a minute and talk about profiles uh, just to rule out any confusion on that. You should have created a CS email profile and when you start up Outlook it should prompt you for which profile to be used. I would like you to go ahead and start Outlook but when it prompts you for a profile use whatever email profile you used in the past because we're exporting email and contacts and calendar items from your past system we need to export those first before we import them into the CS email. Now in my case uh, the email profile is called help desk yours may be called default outlook profile or a number of other things I'm not sure what it's called but it's your old outlook profile is probably not called CS email so go ahead and open Outlook on whatever profile is not the CS email profile. What you want to do first of all after you've opened Outlook is a little bit of general housekeeping. You may have some deleted items. We're not going to need to import these. Go ahead and empty your deleted items unless it, they include some important documentation then you shouldn't be keeping them in deleted items anyways. In your inbox you may have a couple folders that helps you organize your mail. Uh, you may just want to take some of these items and move them into the appropriate folder. Just kind of some general housekeeping before we do very much. The first thing that we're going to do is archive the email. So in Outlook 2007 you click File and Archive. This is important that you highlight the entire mailbox at this point. Uh, by default it comes in at the inbox you want to highlight the entire mailbox because that way you will export past calendar items and everything in there sent items everything uh, next thing you want to do Outlook lets you type in today and it'll resolve today's date uh, I'm doing this a little bit ahead of time but your date is probably after December 5th but you can type in today in tab and it will uh, resolve whatever today's date is but it's important to do this on today's date. Include items that we do not so check that and your archive file uh, just leave that, leave that as whatever is default. If you had been archiving all along it's going to archive to the last file that you archive to. If you want to create a new archive file that's okay but just go ahead and use whatever is default. When you click OK you will see down here a little task going. You'll see some files going into a folder. You want to allow this to complete. So if this may take a while depending on your connection speed and how big your inbox is, it's okay to pause this video, allow this to complete, and then resume the video for the next steps. Alright, that first step could have taken quite a while. Uh, in this case it took me 20 minutes so depending on how much email you have and your connection speed uh, it, it could have taken a while. The next step now is to export the items that we have and items are calendar items, contacts if you have any contacts, and tasks. So in this case we've got a lot of tasks we want to make sure all those are exported. Uh, this will also any of your items for follow-up will uh, also be exported in this. To export you click on file and you trace down to the import and export section then you want to select export to a file then click on next. 
At this step here, you want to make sure to, to check Personal Folder File, PST. This will get all of your stuff into one file. Hit Next. You want to select the entire mailbox again and include subfolders. And hit Next. Now it may give you a default file name here. That will be fine. Um, you could name it something that you want. I'm going to name this Help Desk because that's the profile that I'm using. But it really doesn't matter what you name it as long as you give it a name. You want to leave Replace Duplicates with Items Exported and hit Finish. At this point, uh, if it does prompt you for a name, maybe just name this Export and hit OK. This again may take some time, probably not as long as the export, so you're welcome to pause the video uh, if you need to. Now since you have your all your email put into a PST file and all your calendar contacts, tasks, and other items exported, I want to take one quick second and explain something. This will move, what we're doing is exporting email and contacts. The recently used address list here, when you type a letter, it comes up with uh, other names. That will not be transferred over. There's a couple reasons why. Uh, they won't work on the new systems, but we're not transferring the names file over or the recently used address. We are transferring any contacts that you had saved in contacts. Now we are done with the old email profile. You can close Outlook and then open Outlook and this time we want to choose the CS email profile. At this point we want to start up the new email profile. We want to, when asked, choose CS email and since we're not going to need to go into the previous email profile anymore, we can hit options and set this as default profile so we won't be prompted for the profile anymore. At this point you want to make sure that CS backslash your first name dot last name is in here and use the password that you set up during the enrollment process. Once Outlook is open, first thing we want to do is import calendar items, tasks, follow up to do's. We click on File, Import and Export. This time we want to import from another program or file. Hit Next. Now at this screen here, we're going to need to use the right hand scroll bar and choose Personal Folder File dot PST and hit next. This should browse us to the place where we have created our backups. If you're not sure which backup you've created, you can put it in details view and look at the date or just remember what you named it. I named it with help desk backup so I hit OK. Replace duplicates, we want to leave that as default. Hit next, export into the mailbox, leave all that, include subfolders, leave all that correct and hit finish. Give this a few minutes to import, actually uh, it's all created now. Now you can see before we did not have any subfolders, now we do have the same subfolder directory structure. Uh, you should not have imported any uh, actual email, that's all going to be in your PST file, maybe a little bit of email and we will see in here that we do now have contacts and we now have tasks that were brought over so that's great. Next step would be to open the PST file that we created file open we want to choose Outlook data file it will throw this into our default location again if you want to we could switch to details view to see which one we created uh, this was today's date or the date that I was creating this video. Archive, hit OK. Now we do have our archive folders. Now what we have accomplished is we have exported 
our email to a PST folder. We've also exported calendar contact and task items. We have brought up the new CS email profile and we have imported those. So you are now complete. Uh, please make sure that your archive folder here is backed up in some way. You can check with your local uh, IT department on how best to back that up. It currently sits on your C drive, so you want to make sure that's backed up somewhere. Thank you for watching this, and if you have any questions, please call the help desk.